Hi, I'm Greg Plitt. Thanks for downloading my metrics training video. A lot of my success as a fitness model has come from having great ads. So now, I'm going to give you an inside look at what I do to keep my stomach shredded all year round. The exercise is called a leg lift. You can do it knees up or straight legs up. Either way, it's your option. Straight legs a little more advanced, but then knees up. But it's imperative that whenever you do this exercise, just like when you're on the, on the ground, imagine I'm on flat on the ground, you're doing a crutch. You're rolling your hips forward, working, stressing the upper fore part of your abs. Whenever you're working the lower abs, you must roll your hips forward. Roll them up, otherwise you're not utilizing them. I'll show you what I mean. Far too often, and you've seen it before, a guy's in the Roman chair, he brings his knees up to 90 degrees and goes down. What that's working right there is your hip flexors. It's not even utilizing your abs yet. You really want to take your abs, take it to the next level, all the way up to your chest. Full range of motion. They're harder, so you know you not only even have to do as much, but you'll love the benefits. If you don't bring them all up to your chest for the full range of motion, might as well not even do them. You're wasting your own time. What we're about to do right now is an incline sit-up. The incline sit-up works your upper region of your ab, your top four. Depending on your experience level and how good a shape you're in, you can start low and work your way up. One thing you don't want to do when you do abs is go in there the first day and, and, and beat yourself down. Go too hard, too fast, where you lose all your motivation, you get smoked, and you're like, man, I'm never going to do that again. Do it moderately so you leave motivated that you accomplish your goal that you set forth that day, and you're motivated for the next training session of abs. Here, incline sit-ups, mostly upper abs. So you're gonna put, never put your hands behind your neck. So what you're gonna do when your abs start failing, you're gonna start cranking on your neck. It's gonna cause neck problems. Bad, bad way to go. Put your hands across your shoulders right here. You're gonna go down to your shoulder blades touch and you're coming back up. It's a touch and go, keeping stress on your abs the entire time. This is how it looks. Another exercise you can do right here from this position, you work the side walls, it's called a side twist. Hands go back to your shoulders, you're gonna go down halfway so your abs are nice and tight, and you're gonna rock to your right and to your left, you go back and forth. Working those side walls, really good. Side twist, great exercise for the side walls of the abdomen. This last ab exercise is the granddaddy of them all. It's a little bit more advanced, a little bit harder, but I promise you the benefits you'll see at this exercise are well worth the payments of pain that you're gonna put into it. What you want to make sure is that your abs are always tense, so your feet are always off the ground. And when you go up, you're really curling your lower hips up, working the lower abs. As your feet are coming back down, kind of just touch and go on the ground real fast, working the upper abs, so your entire abdomen region is being worked. Great exercise. Whatever you do, though, stay true to the course. Get on the program, see it out. Give yourself a six-month window before you start expecting results. The hardest part is the first step. That first step is the hardest. Once you get over that, it's all downhill. Good luck to you. That was my routine for abs. I train abs at the end of every workout. This is just a sample routine, but I never do the same ab routine twice. I find it's important to change up your ab workouts because it keeps your body guessing as it has to adapt to new exercises that ultimately leads to growth. I'm Greg Plitt for Metrics. Thanks for watching. For more workouts, updates, and nutritional information, keep logging on to metrics.com.